Hello guys, this is Nilesh Kamre from WindowsITExperts.com and in today's video we are going to see how to demote domain controller in uh, Windows Server 2012 uh, R2. So basically this is a really very uh, easy step for those who already knows how to how to demote uh, domain controller uh, from Windows Server 2012 R2 but there are some things uh, some of the steps uh, we have to take care of uh, of those like uh, removing uh, uh, removing metadata cleanup and removing uh, computer accounts and uh, uh, very very important steps that has to be taken care uh, uh, while uh, while demoting the domain controller uh, in the in the in the production environment uh, uh, in the production environment so i'm going to tell you all those things uh, in in this video so stay stay tuned till end of the video uh, okay so let's begin the be, let's begin the demotion process uh, uh, what uh, i have uh, i have already only one uh, one domain controller and i am going to uh, demote it uh, right away uh, uh, so this would be my last domain controller of the forest okay so let's go ahead so click on manage uh, in the server manager click on manage remove roles and features so this is the roles and uh, features wizard and click on next so this is the server uh, which uh, we are going to demote it click on next so this is the active directory services role uh, remove roles and features wizard click on next so this is the new option uh, microsoft has introduced in 2012 r2 uh, dc promo has been removed from 2012 r2 uh, it was there in the previous versions but in 2012 dc promo is not uh, involved okay so click on this uh, as uh, I have all, only one uh, administrator account uh, for uh, validation testing environment, uh, I am going to use that only. So this is just checking uh, now. It is giving me message that no other domain controller could be contacted. Proceeding will cause any active directory domain services changes that have been made on this domain controller to be lost. Means actually I have already only one server one domain controller so that's why it is giving the having that's why it is giving the message okay so click on this force the removal of this domain controller click on next so these are the uh, uh, these are the master rules okay fsmo rules in installed on my domain controller PDC emulator is there already. My means all the all the uh, domain naming master is there. All the uh, roles are installed in this uh, and the, on this over. Okay, so click on next. So this is the new administrator password. Remove Active Directory services from this computer without updating forest metadata okay so demote so this is gonna be take time some time uh, what I am going to do I am going to DNS server service has been detected on any existing actor will be deleted during the removal of this service. okay DNS uh, will also be uh, removed from this uh, uh, from this uh, this is the only message uh, it is giving okay so for some time I will pause the recording and we'll get back to you uh, oh it's completed good it is asking for restart uh, I'll close this out and it will reboot uh, automatically so it's now rebooting the server Restarting, it's taking some time. Okay, now it's rebooting. In this beautiful world. Mm -hmm. 
so meanwhile i, I will tell you something uh, about uh, demotion process uh, uh, the demotion process uh, normally we have uh, uh, if we if you have uh, sscm install on your server scom install on your server so you have to first uninstall those uh, those clients uh, from your domain controller uh, scom uh, scom uninstallation uh, sscm uninstallation so you have to follow those process uh, as well uh, in the, in the in the production perspective okay so that uh, you will not uh, have any undeleted data in your uh, in your uh, so servers okay so or no orphan data would be there in your sccm or uh, scom console also uh, after uh, removing uh, after uh, uh, demoting domain controller you have to uh, you have to delete uh, uh, active active compute computer account from active directory if this is not your uh, last domain controller okay you have to delete it from uh, active directory you have to delete it from uh, from sites and services uh, okay uh, that ntds object uh, settings so this is it now it is a member server now i would not be able to find uh, active directory users and computers on this dsa dot msc blah 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 no okay so no active directory is installed on this server now so this is uh let me check let me check Can you see this full computer name is this dc1.windowsitexperts.com and uh, see it is a in work group so it has now converted into work group but what is this windows let to go to change settings change more this is it okay remove this so you'll not be able to get it to make changes uh, to do restart settings okay restart now so that's it uh, demotion of the act demotion of the act domain controller on windows server 2012 uh, r2 if you want to subscribe below is a subscribe button please like it subscribe it i'm going to cover all the all the windows server 2012 r2 technology related uh, stuff uh, on this channel so please do subscribe